bathroom. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a shower slash skincare routine. I know this video is highly requested and long overdue, but I do commend you for clicking on this video. You clicking on this video means that you're interested in learning something new and you're interested in taking care of yourself as black queens should. You know, if we don't take care of us, who's going to do it? So this is my personal shower routine and moisturizing slash skincare routine. I am Nigerian, as you guys know, so a lot of my cleanliness, of course, it came from my mother and a lot of African practices. So um, there might be some products that I use here today that might be new to you guys, but please understand that anything Elohu puts her stamp on. I do want to say that all of these products that I personally recommend, it works for me. I do recommend that you guys do your own research as far as ingredients. Um, just so that you're not allergic to anything or if you have more sensitive skin, some of these products might be a little bit too harsh for your skin. Lady Lo is here to just give you guys some pointers on some things that I do to keep my skin soft, smooth, glowy, and chocolatey. My mama said it. I'm not making this up. So over here I have the tub slash jacuzzi, yes honey, and then I have this that I'll, I'll use, sometimes I use Dr. Teal's, so I have that there and ready and I'll just soak in here for a while it is important as a woman that you bathe like in a literal bath i know a lot of people don't like to bathe because they're germaphobic or they feel like no i just prefer to shower so you do want to soak what i like to do is i'll soak in here and then i'll go into the shower that's all in every african household it doesn't matter which country um you're gonna find some that's all somewhere and this is one of the products that I do want you guys to also do your research on. I, I really don't want to be responsible for anyone getting <laughs> hurt or having a reaction to anything. But um, um, Dettol is an antiseptic um, disinfectant. You fill up the cap and you pour it into the tub and you soak into that. Now I use this whenever I've been out. Y'all know we've been dealing with Corona out here in these streets. So whenever I've been out and around a lot of people, I like to come back home and soak in some Dettol because this is going to clean, 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 clean. Turmeric scrub, I will be using this in the video today. This is my turmeric scrub. Um, I got this from the Nutty Tree. This video is actually sponsored by the Nutty Tree. So shout out to them for sending me some really great products. The African Black Soap, you know that if your black soap is a black bar, it's not authentic African Black Soap. Your black soap should be brown with black and light brown um, specks in it. This is the pumice stone. I'm gonna teach y'all how you can use it for your booty and it gives me a really soft booty, okay? Or any areas on your body that has a little bit more texture, it's a little bit rougher, you can gently use that, spawn, that, that stone to exfoliate in those areas. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask, I personally do not believe in putting soap in your vagina at all. Like, absolutely, under no, no circumstances. That's just me. Um, I know there are some products out there, St. Ives or St. Eve's and other products that say you can, you know, you know, vaginal washes. I just personally would not recommend putting any products inside of your vagina. You can clean, you know, the outer area with, um, you know, soap and, with non-scented natural soaps. You can clean the outer area, but do not put soap in. So I'm going in with the African black soap on my face. Other than makeup remover, this is the only soap that I trust and use on my face. You wanna just keep your eyes closed while you're using this soap because girl, your eyes will burn. So if you've never heard of this or used this, I wanna introduce you guys to an African sponge. This one isn't the original African sponge. This is like another version that I found here in Jersey. But girl, get you an African sponge, honey. They also have it on the Nutty Trees website, so you can check it out there. These sponges are West Africa's secrets to smooth, soft skin. You can use it all over your body. It's flexible. It will exfoliate your skin. Some people even say it has helped them with um, acne on their backs. Honey, 
girl get you a african sponge in your bathroom you will thank me later and now for my magical mystical pumice stone which i ordered off of amazon honey there is always a stone in my bathroom if i'm traveling my stone comes with me this stone really helps to soften my feet as well as even out discolorations if i ever get scars or texture or anything like that my stone is always here and handy honey ready to just remove that dead skin or that hard skin um, of course if you have like flaky feet or you know dead skin peeling off of your feet you should also use that um that grater right and of course your girl stays with the pedicure that is a part of maintaining you know your feminine self-care now i'm showing you guys how i use the stone on my lower booty area i don't know what the name of that area is but i do get a little bit of texture there sometimes so i gently i gently in a circular motion use the stone in any areas on my body that has a little bit of texture you want to be very gentle when you're not working with your feet because the area is very delicate and it's the, the layers of skin is a lot thinner than on your feet so you don't want to bruise yourself or cause any irritation so you do want to be very gentle when you're using this stone on areas that are not your feet dry my body but for my face i always use a clean piece of paper or I'll just let my face air dry. My, my skin on my face is, is too sensitive. The breakouts just be ready to break. And I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna give you any type of germ that you can just suck on in and here comes the pimple. I don't got time for that. I drink too much water for that, okay? These are the products that I'm going to be using today, so I have them here ready. The turmeric mask that I'm going to use, you definitely want to wear gloves because turmeric stains, and you will have yellow stains on your fingers. When I use it, it's a great exfoliant. I love exfoliating. I, you know, and you're not supposed to exfoliate too much, so I will probably use this product once a week. Turmeric has a lot of benefits for the skin. I know a lot of people also use turmeric on their inner thighs or booty area. It does help with scars, marks, texture girl it's popping like turmeric is really good you probably got some in your kitchen so you are supposed to leave this on till it dries girl there's black seed oil is this crack i don't know what i don't know what i don't need to know all i know is girl what exactly where get some black seed oil when i told you my chin was like the rocky mountains bro within two weeks i was like hold on where So whether it's morning or evening, you want to make sure after you bathe or shower that you moisturize your skin. As you can see, I have really even, beautiful black skin. I really love my skin. I love taking care of myself. You know, nobody's perfect, but I try to go above and beyond to, you know, take care of myself. And I love getting compliments on my skin. I love being soft. I just love being a woman. Like, I just, I love pampering. And right now I'm using the Nutty Mango. All of these products are 100% organic. The Nutty Mango, it has more of a fruity scent and the Nutty Cocoa is just like raw uh, shea butter and coconut. So if you don't like, you know, the fruity scent, I would definitely go for Nutty Cocoa. But girl, get the Nutty Mango too. We love when butters kind of melt down into an oil and it just absorbs onto the skin and gives you a so I have the um, Nutty Mango Butter as well as the Nutty Cocoa Butter. I've been using the Nutty Mango Butter because I'm obsessed with the smell. Like it just, it smells like give me a hug. Because <laughs> you smell good. And you soft. And you sharp. Like that's what it smells like. <laughs> and you make <laughs> So like I said, this is my routine for day and nighttime, and I'm pretty consistent. Like you just have to take the time out, 
get the right products that work for you um, you guys can definitely head over to afroproducts.com and use my discount code eloho for a discount also check them out on instagram we do go live from time to time on instagram we talk about the products we talk about trending topics and we talk about what it's like to be a black woman living in this world today so go ahead and let me know down in the comment section what are some of your staple products that you use on a daily basis that have transformed your skin for the better let us know down in the comment section thank you guys make sure you like and subscribe let me know what other content you would like to see from me on this channel i have so many tips and tricks on how to be a popping ass pretty ass black girl like <laughs> just let me know let me know what y'all need from me and i will provide thank you so much i'll see you at the next one bye